Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas here today to bring you a video on this awesome art book. Now let's get into this. This is the art book. It is called Control Plus T. Inio Asano Works. And obviously it has a bunch of Inio Asano's various works in here, such as Goodnight Pun Pun and Solonin. Now to start off, it has it actually comes with these at the start and the back of each or of the art book. And it's like a Solonin kind of uh manga sleeve thing. I'll just put that to the side for now. But yeah, it starts off as a, as a, with a solid inside story. And I'm not going to really like focus much on this. I'm going to kind of go by it pretty fast here. And here's the first actual illustration besides this little side story. It's some pun pun. And this one looks pretty damn trippy. It's got like a bunch of uh, weird looking uh, drawings all over this girl. Looks pretty sweet. And these like, if you, you can pick up, pick up so much stuff if you look at this. Like over here, this chick's got a rice cooker on her head. A phone tied to her leg. Holding an umbrella which is tied to another umbrella. It's just awesome. And this one's pretty funny. I want his magic stick. And then down here, it shows, like, some weird, like, mole things. And one of them's, like, falling over at the end here. Some penguins. Like, this art book is just full of awesome, wacky stuff. I love it. It's definitely a bit smaller than a, your average art book released in English. Well, this isn't an English art book. That may be why. Because usually, I guess, Japanese art books, they aren't as big as English ones, from my experience, that is. There's, like, some guys falling out of UFO, Village Vanguard. Like, Inyo Asano just has some, like, like it, it would take me, like, half an hour just to go through this and actually, like, talk about every little thing on every page. So that's why I'm not. Like this, for example. Let's give you a little brief look at it. And it's kind of cool, it like follows onto this page, those little guys. And here's what the front cover is. I'm not sure what uh, manga series these girls are from. But if you know, I would appreciate it if you leave it in the comments below, because I'm interested. Here's some more Pun Pun. And here, it's, I think this is where like a lot of Pun Pun stuff starts. It's like a part from Oyasumi Pun Pun colored. Looks fantastic colored. Gotta say. There's Aiko. Bunch of Pun Pun. Awesome. Another part in the manga that has been colored. Same as this. And there's supposed to be Pun Pun, I guess. This is pretty cool. Good night, Pun Pun. Got like the black guy, the trademark black guy in uh, in Pun Pun. <laughs> His mom, uh, I guess she's like a hooker or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Here it says Oh Yesumi Pun Pun in Japanese, then 66. And it's got like uh, a god behind in the background there. Then here's like a bunch of. Uh, Cool, like childhood pictures, but Pun Pun's in them all. Like a bunch of Japanese people, then you see Pun Pun right here. See me here, it's like a class picture, then you see Pun Pun right there. It's actually pretty awesome. There's Aiko, an awesome widespread Pun Pun. Pun Pun Wa. <laughs> and then here's Pun Pun again in a more, another realistic photo. This is one of my favorite parts of the manga. It's just so fucked. Good night. Pung Pung. I don't know why it says that. But yeah, I'm going to try to go a little bit faster now because I'm not even like halfway through this art book. Well, I guess I kind of am because near the end there isn't like much art. So I guess I'll skip kind of through there. So this is this video will probably be only another couple minutes long. Pun Pun. With some statue. And here is where Solomon starts. A lot of selling and art. 
Solomon's amazing. If you haven't read it yet, and you have read other Inio Asano manga, I would definitely recommend it. But Solomon is probably, like, his most popular one, if not... Besides Pun Pun. I love this widespread. It looks badass. Boys, got some like flowers, like firing out some flowers or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Now, whatever this manga is, if you guys know, I want you to leave it in the description below because I would love to read this as well. Looks pretty wacky. Like this guy throws some scissors at that guy. Throw some more scissors at him. Then he like the boss looks like his boss or something. He's like all pissed off at him. Like, I don't even know. And he, like continues on here. He's like dancing and shit. And he slaps him in the face. <laughs> okay, this is the one part I want to talk about. Uh, I think it like goes through a lot of his manga. Like here it starts with pun pun. Here's some Solomon. Here's Nijigahara holograph here. And then what a wonderful world. And that's all I really know about. Because I don't really know what these starting manga are called. But like I said, if you if you do know, you should let me know in the in the uh, comments. Was I saying description before? Yeah, I meant let me know in the comments. Yeah, this is like the ending of the actual art. Now here I'll quickly... Well, I guess there's a bit of stuff here. I'll quickly skim by after I finish this last page. A couple pages. Here's some pun pun. I actually want to say that you can get a t-shirt like this that comes with one of the one of the Japanese volumes, if I'm right. It's like a mushroom. Some kind of like black and white kind of spreads. But yeah, and that's and then, here, then it's an interview with Inyo Asano. If you don't know what Inyo Asano looks like, that's what he looks like. If you ever wondered. But yeah, no, I'll quickly go through this. Some drafts about... Some of his manga, which probably isn't that interesting. I guess it might, you guys might be interested in it, but you can just buy the art book if you want to look at it in more detail. If you're ever, if you're wondering where to buy the art book, I got mine from CD Japan. It was about here's the timetable of each page where they're all where they're all from. But yeah, got it from CD Japan. And oh yeah, this this here is just like a little kind of like a. Another side story, but I'm not sure what manga it is. It might just be like in one of his newer mangas or something that's only for this art book. But it looks pretty damn depressing. Like near the end, he's fucking got a gun to his head, so I don't even know what that's about. But yeah, and then like I said, at the starting in the end, it comes with these sullen and little things. But yeah, let's get this out of the way for now. And I already showed you the back. This is my art book of Inyo Asano Works, Control Plus T. If you want to check out any of my other art book videos, check out my playlist. I got a bunch on there. But yeah, my name is Lucas, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.